Hey guys, it's day five of the Vitemba challenge and I'm here today with the Olympus 35 RC. The Olympus 35 RC was manufactured in Tokyo, Japan in the 70s and it's a little rangefinder camera that is the size of a point and shoot. Very small. To give you an idea of how small that is, uh, you can compare it next to my iPhone 4. So it's very small, fits in the pocket, goes everywhere with you. It takes the standard 35mm film and it's magnificent. Starting with the lens, it's a fixed lens, 40mm, I believe, yes, 40mm f2.8 uh, lens. It goes from f2.8 to f22. It also has the settings for flash, automatic, and an off button. Yes, an off button, which means when it's switched off, it actually is switched off. You don't have to worry about your batteries running out. The reason why it has batteries is because it's a shutter priority mode camera. It doesn't do aperture priority, but it does shutter priority. So you can set your shutter speed, which ranges between bulb and one over 500, uh, which is one five hundredth of a second. And the camera selects what aperture to shoot the picture at. You can obviously also use it in full manual mode, in which case you wouldn't need the battery at all in the first place, which is mostly how I use it. It has a standard hot shoe, which again, you can put any accessories such as flash. And the flash syncs with the camera via a port there. And it has a flash setting actually on the lens, which is great. Uh, right, what else? The Film Advance crank is here. And you what? That's advancing the camera to the next frame. And that's the shutter button. It's very simple to use. And rewinding the film here is, is, is very easy. It's, it's, unlike the older cameras, this is really easy. You just pop that open and rewind that way. So that's quite straightforward. The viewfinder is fantastic. It is full of information about aperture, shutter speed that you're using. And this is good because you don't have to take your eyes off again when you're taking pictures to inspect the aperture and the speed that you've selected. You can actually see the information changing. There's a needle that tells you which speed you've selected and which aperture speed the camera is selected. Also, the camera would not let you take a picture in shutter priority mode if it's overexposed or underexposed uh, it just blocks the shutter button doesn't let it click so it, it forces you to select uh, a shutter speed or setting that is properly exposed of course if you're in the manual mode then you can take any picture you want you, you override all the settings of the camera word of caution for people that use small rangefinders or any rangefinder is to remember to remove the cap lens cap because unlike an SLR when you're looking through the viewfinder and looking through the actual lens in a rangefinder again you're looking directly straight through so there's no way of telling if you've got the lens cap on or not if you've got the camera in shutter priority mode it knows that the cap is on because the image is underexposed so it doesn't let you take the picture but if you're in manual mode you have to remember to take the lens cap second thing because it's quite small, you have to be careful where your finger is so you don't either obstruct the, the window for the rangefinder or the actual lens itself. Again, when you're taking a picture with a rangefinder, because you're not looking through the lens, you can't really see that you've got a finger obstructing. And this is quite easy to do because this is a really small um, rangefinder camera. And it's a fu funny story because when I first got this camera, my first roll that I put through it had my finger across every single image because I, I used to focus the camera like this. So, bad habit. But now, I focus like this. So that's a thing of the past. The batteries that came with this camera originally, the PX625s, are no longer ma manufactured in any country. And they're illegal in most countries now. So. They're hard to find or you can't find them, you can't use them anymore because of the mercury content. Uh, so because of that, the new batteries, the replacement ones, are either a different size and you have to compensate by padding them up or in terms of their voltage and their current, they're not exactly the specification, so you get an approximation. Since I normally use the camera in 
manual mode, I don't have to worry so much about that. This camera is so small, it's so handy, so easy to just pop in a bag in your coat and take pictures. And it's so much fun to use because of all the information there's in the camera. I find the exposure very accurate when I use the shutter, uh, the shutter priority mode, but mostly I use manual mode. So I find it really easy to use, very, very, very uh, convenient. And I put this really nice uh, handband thing on it. So I just, some, most of the time I have it hanging by my wrist and I guess to put my hands in my pockets. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll try to make it as short as I can. Uh, so I haven't delved into any technical details of the camera. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the pictures. If you did, please leave me a comment or subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again tomorrow with another camera. Bye.